Okay, this is a Bootstrap Studio question, um, and this is it. It's uh, so it says Bootstrap Studio to return the assets folder and index.html. Um, this chap says, but I was thinking, what if I rename and resort the documents for my convenience? For example, the index.html to rename to content.html um, to create index.php and uh, then to change also content.html and so we can add php the traditional way what do i think about that yeah well i do actually use this i've actually uh, replied on this one but if anybody else is having uh, thoughts about bootstrap studio and can you change the um the file names to whatever you want and uh, definitely of course um anyway so i'm just showing you this here which is on my web server or not my web server but the host i use php is king or html on some sites so this is uh, my uh, site here it, an index.php is the actual full title of this but what you always see is uh just that so it, it just uh, mbdesigns.me.uk but the actual version is index.php so anyway you can and this was done if anybody saw the um the website which i built from scratch and this is the one that was okay so what you would do when you also asked a question about um about images weren't saving and uh bootstrap studio i'm not sure what, why that is because this here is an image of mine this is just a demonstration and you put that on and for example then we just like sort of say export i've already got a folder for that so browse um go to bss select folder export okay and then you save this here just save it um you can also go file at the top there on the left hand side and save and you can put it put it in whichever folder or document that you want to do and it will become a dot bs design um, that's bootstrap studio's own design uh, file system okay so anyway so what you would see is just go here bss folder which i put that in is your index and your assets and inside your assets folder you see bootstrap css images and js uh image is the chainsaw one that i'm using okay so um you can do this in your favorite editor or any editor really at all um so if we go to workspace and we just go down here bootstrap studio is here that's what i'm doing okay and there's your just knock that facebook message off and there's the image of that was in there so that does save um maybe just haven't saved it properly that's all i can think of on that um okay so how you would change uh your files and that is in the similar way i mean you can change your index.php uh with this file here but i haven't got my local server running at the moment so it's not going to show okay so in here you have uh, at the top inside the head you got your you know your um, assets which is bootstrap css uh, style css which can be your own which is what when you do your style on um, in bootstrap studio this is the folder that it goes to by default okay so what we can do here is just change this and we can put say test all right um and save that okay so now we're looking for a test folder which doesn't actually ex exist now um this here is become test.css but since um it's changed we're just going to have to knock that down a bit um just go here and back to the workspace here so okay so we're just going to put in uh put the uh, style here okay and i'm going to change the image of the chainsaw 
um, hang on, I'll just knock this down here. Okay, so image, come on, image, um, I'm gonna just say something like uh, width uh, 350 plus height uh, 300, okay and this has got Emmett in there so you would see that okay save changes all right but I really have to go down here and rename this so the style rename because that's got to be test CSS now test.css because that's the way that'll work okay okay so now we've changed it and that's the size that's the actual size of the image because I've changed the image size using the test.css so basically what that's doing now this here is changed from style.css to test.css and this is what was style css is now test css so that's basically you can change all your files you want um, and there's absolutely no bother just exactly the same way is you do with with any other editor um things that you would do you can even change your assets folder to what you want why you would do that i'm not really sure but the uh default's okay on that but if um for example if if you're working in a group of people like you did say um this chap uh and they've actually got a you know the file uh names themselves i mean it's easy enough to change so if anybody um you know is uh won't know that that's that's the answer to that really you can change almost anything on there and it'll be fine so again thanks for watching and thanks for listening